Angelina Ballerina. It's fun being in a musical group with your friends, but it can be tricky playing together. And sometimes the music sounds really weird. Stop! 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 Why? What's the problem? We really need more practice. That's the problem. I think Vicky was playing too loud. No, I wasn't. You were playing too fast. My tambourine was good, though, wasn't it? Actually, you were banging it much too hard, Angelina. What? It was your twanging that messed me up. Can't you play a little less twangy? We have to get this right for the concert tonight. Come on, let's try again. Okay. One, two, three, four. down, AZ. What's the big hurry? <sighs> Sorry, Miss Mimi. I'm supposed to be rehearsing with my music group. Ah, yes. I'm looking forward to hearing your ensemble perform tonight. On what? Ensemble. It means a small group of musicians all playing music together. Oh, right. Our ensemble. See you later. And no running. No problem, Miss Mimi. Mouse is in the house. Now we have ourselves an ensemble. And on what? Ensemble. A small group of musicians all playing music together. Amazing! Now, can we please start again? Everybody ready? One, two, three, four. I know how to play the drums, Angelina. Listen and learn. Oh. oh no! That's never happened before. Maybe there's a spare drumstick in the music cupboard. I'll check it out. Bells, maracas, triangles. There are no drumsticks. How can I drum with only one stick? Maybe you could play one of the other instruments instead. But I'm the drummer. I drum. The ensemble needs my drumming to help keep the rhythm. It was then that I had my brilliant idea. There were no drumsticks in the music cupboard, but I knew just where to find one. Oh, what am I going to do? What about my father's music store? Yes. Yes! Mouseland Music Store. You can get all kinds of music stuff over there. Hey, it's almost lunchtime. You can run over, get a new drumstick and be back before lunch is finished. Fantastic! Thanks, Angelina. AZ? Sorry, Ms. Mimi. Uh, is it okay for me to run out to Mr. Mouseling's music store for a new drumstick? That's fine, as long as you don't... Thanks, Miss Mimi! Run. I didn't hear you come in. 
I was just, uh, <clears throat> can I get you anything? What were you doing there? I was just, um, practicing. Practicing what? Well, sometimes when the store is empty, I like to put on some classical music and pretend I'm the conductor of the orchestra. Cool. I didn't know conductors practiced. Oh, yes. Conductors have to know the music so well they can lead the other musicians, keep them in time, make sure they don't play too loud or too fast. Wow, that's cool. Helps them start and stop together. Helps them make beautiful music. Like this. Ms. Mimi does that. She conducts the choir, and she has one of those stick things. That's what a conductor uses to conduct. It's called a baton. A baton? Can I help you with anything today, AZ? Oh, yes. I'm here on a very important mission. Our ensemble needs my drumming, but I need a new drumstick. A new drumstick? Uh-oh. This isn't good at all. I hope AZ gets back soon. I'm looking forward to your performances tonight, Mouselings. How are the rehearsals going? They're going really well, Ms. Mimi. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I will make sure I have a front row seat. Why did you say that? It's not going really well. But it will soon. Everything will be fine as soon as AZ gets back. Oh, fiddles and flugelhorns. The worst possible day to be shopping for drumsticks. Is there a problem, Mr. M? This morning, the Chipping Cheddar Marching Band drummers bought up every drumstick in the store. What? Are you sure? I only need one stick. Strings, bows, pegs and picks. The one thing I don't have are sticks. Oh! Where's our drummer? He's really late. And the concert's starting soon. We'll just have to tell Miss Mimi we're not ready. We can't do that. We can't let Miss Mimi down. And Vicky told her we were doing so well. Oh, AZ, where are you? Well, that's it, I'm afraid. We've searched the store from bottom to top. No more drumsticks. I better get back to school. Boy, I'm late. Thanks anyway, Mr. M. Sorry I couldn't help. Hooray! AZ saves the day! Where's the new drumstick? AZ? <sighs> no more sticks. Mr. M sold them all. Oh, no! With only one stick, I'm stuck. Sorry, everyone. Looks like I won't be playing with you at the concert tonight. Oh, dear. Time was running out, and we had to rehearse. Without AZ, we were even more all over the place. Alice, you're playing too fast. It should be like this. One and two and three and four. And Vicky, you need to play a bit quieter. And Marco, listen to Angelina's tambourine and stay in time. Let's try it again. But keep doing it. I'm conducting. Just like a conductor conducting an orchestra. But we're not an orchestra. We're an ensemble. Since I can't play drums to keep the beat, follow my baton instead. Yeah! Way to go! Hey, we're sounding really good. 
Mr. M showed me how a conductor keeps all the musicians playing in time and lets them know when to play louder or softer. Well, if you can't be our drummer tonight, maybe you could be our conductor. Please, Go on, yes. Come on, Mouselings. Let's make some music. I can't wait. Welcome to Roqueford Hall. And here's our musical ensemble, featuring our new conductor, Maestro A.Z. Mouse. Sometimes you need to remember to do other things too. Like be on time for school. So tomorrow is lend a paw day. It's a day where you help someone out who really needs it. So I want you all to split into groups and find someone you can help out. Yes, Angelina? Some of us could help Mrs. Thimble at the store. She's hurt her wrist. Yes, and I heard her say that she had a lot to do in the store this weekend. I'll help, too. Perfect. Now that's one very good lend paw project. Now... <gasps> oh, sorry, I'm late, Miss Mimi. <gasps> I've been learning about disco dancing. <laughs> I love the funky beat. <laughs> Where did you hear about disco dancing, Gracie? Oh, I saw it in an old movie over the weekend. <sighs> I love it. It's good that you found a new form of dance, but you shouldn't let it get in the way of being on time for school. I was just telling everyone about Lend a Paw Day. Don't worry, Gracie. You can join us. We'll tell you all about it at lunchtime. So, that's the plan. We'll meet at Mrs. Thimble's store as soon as it opens. Mrs. Thimble is going to be so happy. And maybe we can do some disco, too. Disco music is cool. You know it came from jazz and rock? Oh, and Latin music, too. It's got a real strong, steady beat, so it's easy to dance to. Hey, do you want to hear some groovy disco tunes? Cool. You're here. I'm so glad you could come to help. I even missed my morning boogie to get here. Well, thank you very much for your help. I have to count stock, but it's hard to do since I hurt my wrist. Don't worry, Mrs. Thimble. It's Linda Paw Day. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Lend a paw. <laughs> Two, three. I'll count all these next. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> oh! Oops! <sighs> They're all mixed up now. We'll have to start 
out again. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Hi, Marco. I thought I'd better come outside to help you. I can't knock anything over out here. Let's have some disco music while we count. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Hey, you're counting to the beats. I can't help it. See how catchy it is? Yes, I love to have a try at drumming along to this. <gasps> That's what we can do. The music room at Camembert is free today. We could go have some disco fun. That would be great, but we should stay here and help. Yes, I guess so. Or we could go and do a quick little disco dance and come back and work super hard to get our jobs done really quickly. Well... If you told Angelina where we're going, I'm sure she'd be okay. Oh, please. Okay. Oui. I love this beat. And it's so much fun to dance to. Forty-two. Forty-three. Phew! So that part's done. Still lots to do, though. Thank goodness for Lender Poor Day. I just got a big delivery of cheese. It all has to be counted and stored in the cheese case. Oh, um, okay. It is a very big job, but four mouselings can do it easily. Oh dear, I wonder what's taking Gracie and Marco so long. Maybe I should go get them. Good idea, Vicky. And I'll start sorting the cheese. Woohoo! Look at this move, Marco. What did you stop for? It's okay, but a bass guitar with this beat would sound even better. There you are. We need your help back at Mrs. Thimble's store. Oh, no. We forgot all about the time. Wait a minute. Vicky, you can play bass, can't you? Yes. But what does that have to do with Mrs. Thimble's store? Nothing. It's what we need to crank up the disco rhythm. Drums and bass. Wow. That's so groovy. What about lend a poor day? I don't suppose it would hurt too much if we did just one song. Please. Okay, just one. That's seven Edam and eight Stilton. Or was it seven Stilton and eight Edam? Or maybe that was Cheddar and Gorgonzola. Oh, I can't keep track. I think I'd better start again. Another load of cheese has just arrived. Oh, dear. You're falling a bit behind. Don't worry, Mrs Thimble. I'm sure the others will be back soon. Well, I certainly hope they haven't forgotten Lend a Poor Day. I can't do much with my wrist, but let's start counting the Stilton. I wonder where they've gone to. Feel the steady pulse of the disco rhythm as you're walking down the street. I know my heart will be pounding just as soon as I hear that beat. I can do the New Yorker. We'll add a little bus stop to. Show us what your feet are for. 
out of breath. So am I. But it's so much fun. What a marvelous song. You really have been enjoying disco music. Yes, Miss Mimi. It's great. Yeah. And did you enjoy helping out at Mrs. Thimble's store on Lenda Paw Day? Oh, I forgot about Lenda Paw Day. We've left Angelina by herself all this time. Oh, no. And we're supposed to put the cheese away. I guess disco dancing makes the time go really quickly. It really does, Miss Mimi. We'd better hurry back. Yes, hurry. Good luck. Wow, we're really late. I hope Angelina's okay. Now, that's the Stilton and the Gorgonzola done. But we're going to need the others if we're going to finish on time. Oh, I wish they'd come. There you are. Oh, we're really sorry, Angelina. It's all my fault. I got everyone into disco dancing. And we forgot the time. But we had a really good dance. Gracie did this move. And then she went like this. And I was on drums, and Vicky was on the bass. Whoa! We can tell Angelina about disco later. But right now, we've got to put the cheese away. You're right. Sorry, Angelina. Angelina, now you have a rest while we finish the work. Let's get cracking. My friends worked really hard, and Mrs. Thimble gave me a nice, cool drink. Last one. Thank you all for lending a paw today. You're welcome, Mrs. Thimble. And now we've done all our work, it's time to disco dance! Angelina Ballerina. And today, my mum got a really interesting letter. Oh. What's that, mum? I've got a letter from my old school friend, Bree. And look, she's put in a photo. Who are all those mouselings? It's us when we were at school. It's our marching band parade. What's a uh, marching band parade? <laughs> parade, Polly. <laughs> For us, it was when we used to march down the street in lines while playing instruments. But we used to march to the beat of the music. <gasps> Sounds like fun! I'd love to march in a parade. That was the best marching band parade 
ever. And it's all thanks to you, Angelina. Angelina! 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 <gasps> Angelina! Angelina! What is it, Polly? I want to march too. <laughs> okay then. Remember, you have to do what I tell you. Friends in school to march with me. Angelina, time for school. Bye, Polly. So, who wants to be in my marching band parade? <laughs> I do. And when we're ready, we can invite Miss Mimi to watch. Absolutely, positively. Miss Mimi would love to see us in a parade. OK, the first thing we need to do is to all get in line and march together like a band. What sort of marching? Good point, Marco. It can't just be ordinary marching. Hmm. It has to look exciting. Oh, I know. We could do some high kicking moves. Yeah! Or we could skip. Like this. Yeah! Or we could march backwards. March backwards? Yeah, like this. Wow! There are so many good ideas, it's hard to decide on one. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't look so good. You're right. It all looks a bit messy. Hmm. Maybe we should just march in a line. And we definitely need music. Music is what makes a parade special. I'll get some instruments. Ah, Angelina. Sounds like you're all having fun out there. What are you up to? It's a surprise, and you're invited to see it when it's ready. How divine! I love surprises. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is, Miss Mimi. Have you got any musical instruments we could use? Of course, Angelina. There's a whistle. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, where are those? Aha! Here they are. Some kazoos. Mm -hmm. And a drum. Thanks, Miss Mimi. How do you get it to make that sound? You kind of hum as you blow into it. Like this. That's right. Perfect.
going to play? What about this one? Yes! Perfect! Stupendous! Now let's march! One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, follow me and turn left. <laughs> it's not funny. I wanted to do a parade, not a circus. Uh <gasps> I think it's time to go and see how they're all coming along. Is everything okay with your surprise, Angelina? No, not at all. Everyone's doing something different, and no one's listening. Hmm, sounds like what they need is a strong leader to show them how to work together and act like a team. Maybe. And it always helps to solve a problem by breaking it down and figuring out exactly what went wrong. You're right, Miss Mimi. Thank you. Hmm, I've got to work out what's going wrong. I'm glad to get away from those kazoos, Angelina. You're making so much noise. That's right. Noise. Huh? Everybody is so busy doing their own thing, they can't hear what I'm saying. What are you doing, Angelina? I've worked out what was going wrong with the parade. You couldn't hear what I was saying. And we need to act like a team. So this time, I'm going to use the whistle. I've worked out a different whistle for each signal. All we have to do is learn the signals, then we'll be ready for our marching band parade. Yeah! Right, when I blow the whistle one long time like this, that means start or stop. Okay. okay! Two blows like this means turn left. Got, Got it. it! And three blows means march in place. We just need to practice a few more times and we'll be ready. Is everything ready, Angelina? We're ready, Miss Mimi. Then let the fun begin. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Parade. You followed your leader and marched together beautifully. I loved it. The parade was so much fun, and it was all because we worked as a team. Well done. Way to go. Great job. You did it. All right, Angelina. Thanks a lot. Three cheers for the parade team. Hooray! 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 Angelina Ballerina, 
My friend Marco and I both entered a radio contest. And now we're waiting to see if either of us won. They should be announcing the winner any minute. Two tickets to see Marcel Mousseau in a solo mime performance? I know I'm going to win those tickets. You mean I'm going to win? That was Mouse in the House from hip-hop artist Jam Master G. Now, check it out, kids. We've got a winner for the two tickets to Marcel Mousseau's solo mime show. It's... Marco Casillo from Chipping Cheddar. That's me! I won! Oh, well. But there's a catch. Marco, if you're listening, we'll be calling you this time tomorrow to ask you three questions. If you answer them correctly, the tickets are yours. Congratulations, Marco. I'm really happy for you. I know how much you like mine. I don't just like to watch it. I'm a really good mime myself. Almost as good as Marcel Mousseau. You think so? I could mime my way out of a paper bag. <laughs> Pretty good, Marco. But Marcel Marceau has been miming for a long time. I'm sure you still have a lot to learn. Not that much. I can mime anything. I could mime all day long if I had to. Oh, really? You think you could go an entire day just acting everything without saying a single word? I know I can. Wanna bet? Sure. OK, here's the deal. If you can go all day tomorrow without speaking till six o'clock, you keep those Marcel Melso tickets. But if you say even one word, those tickets are mine. <laughs> oh, I get it. You've already started miming, right? Hey, Marco. You ready to start your day of miming? OK, what are you going to do first? Hmm, let me guess. You're playing the piano? Oh, you're moonwalking. <laughs> you're walking downstairs. Then upstairs. Pretty good, Marco. What else can you do? I get it! You're washing an imaginary piece of glass! Wow, you are good, Marco! Here, let me help you hold the glass. But let's see if you can keep it up all day. Quoi? What is this Marco's doing? He's cleaning this big piece of glass. Marco and I made a bet. He thinks he can mime all day without speaking, and I think he can't. Whoever wins gets two tickets to see Marcel Marceau's big show. Right, Marco? <laughs> OK, I admit it. I was trying to make you say something. What other mime can you do? No, no, no. You'll smash the glass. Walk around it, please. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Looks like Marco is trapped in a box and he's trying to find his way out. That's off the hook, Marco. Bravo, Marco. You're a natural. Maybe someday you'll be another Marcel Mousseau. Marco Mousseau! <laughs> <laughs> now, who can tell me what separates the district of Cheddary St. Mary and the county of Stiltonshire? Oh, I know Miss Mimi. No, I think I'll ask Marco. Marco? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No speaking, remember? The river tail is the correct answer. It forms a natural boundary. 
Marco's really good. I wouldn't count on those tickets if I were you. Okay, class, here's your homework assignment for tonight. Some of you play musical instruments very well, but can you write down how you actually play them? Here, describe for me in writing how you play each instrument, please. Class dismissed. Marco, let's go to Mrs. Thimble's for some fruit shakes. And what can I get you young mouselings today? Apple fizz bomb, please, Mrs. Thimble. I'll have a blueberry boat, please. And what about you, Marco? Come on, speak up, I haven't got all day. He's not being rude, Mrs. Thimble. He has to do everything in mime. No speaking, just funny faces and movements. Oh, I see. Well, out with it then. Oh, looks like the poor boy's got an itch. <laughs> Put your coat on, lad, if you're cold. <laughs> oh, a frozen fruit slushy, banana flavoured one. Thanks for helping us with our homework, Dad. Happy to help. Hmm. You draw the bow across the strings, like so. Hey, hey, listen now as the music plays. Hey, hey, we'll show you how it's made in many ways. How do you play the violin? Tell us, cos we don't know. If you want to play long notes, you must use your bow. But there's another way, oh yes. Can we take a look? It's called pizzicato. You take a string and pluck. Hey, hey, listen now as the music plays. Hey, hey, we'll show you how it's made in many ways. This is how you strum a guitar. You see, it's no trick. You play these strings just one by one, then you finger pick. Hey, hey, listen now as the music plays. Hey, hey, we'll show you how it's made in many ways. Many Whiskers, Dad. I didn't know you could play drums like that. <sighs> Sorry. Couldn't resist that. Took me back to my rock and roll years when I was on tour with Frantic Fur. You were in a rock band, Dad. Oh, yeah. We played gigs all over Mouseland. I was on drums then. Oh, it's almost time for the radio station to call about those tickets. Let's go, Marco. Angelina, Marco, come and play with me. Not just now, Polly. Marco can't speak until six o'clock. Why not? We made a bet. If he speaks before six o'clock, he loses. Oh, I don't like it when Marco doesn't speak. I'll make him. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Sorry, Marco. Wish I could stop her, but you know how little sisters are. <laughs> it's Radio Cheddar on the phone for you, Marco. You've almost won those two Marcel Marceau tickets. Yay! But you have to answer the three questions first. Wait a minute. It's not six o'clock yet. Marco, if you speak, I get the tickets. But if you don't speak, you can't answer the questions. So neither of us get the tickets. What are we going to do? It looks like there's no way either of us can get those tickets. Hmm, that is a problem. Unless we work together. OK, we're ready for your first question. Marco will mime the answers and I'll tell you what they are. OK, cool. First question. Name a musical instrument that's played with something long and thin across the strings. 
Violin. Is the right answer. Second question. Name a musical instrument that's played using the pizzicato technique. Uh, oh no! He's miming the violin! Yes, is the right answer. Trick question, but it didn't fool Marco. Okay, third question. What percussion instrument did Maurice Mousling play in the famous rock band Frantic Fur? The drums! Congratulations, Marco, and thanks to your little helper, you have won two free tickets to the Marcel Mousseau Show tomorrow night. Yes! You did it, Marco! Hooray! And now, here's a blast from the past. The number one hit single from Frantic Fur, Garden of Edam. Hooray, you did it, Marco! Woo -ho! <laughs> I can speak at last! Tara boom die! You did it! You won the Marcel Malso tickets! I couldn't have done it without you, Angelina. Or you, Mr. Mousling. Thank you. And can Angelina come with me to the show? Of course, dear boy. It was really hard miming all day. I still have a long way to go before I'll be as good as Marcel Mousseau. Well, you're already pretty great at being a friend.